Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this experience. Tonight, we will venture into a larger than life saga. Transform your state of mind. We will explore the spiritual abyss. Welcome to this Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Mia Boyd, and I am the program coordinator and assistant professor for cosmetology. I'd like to thank you all for uh, coming in. On behalf of the Dean Joe Cassidy, Associate Dean Tom Brady, and myself, we'd like to thank you and welcome you to our first annual Elements show. We started the element show or just doing student competition to allow the um, students an opportunity to showcase their work and engage with industry professionals, the community, and let their family and friends see the work that they accomplish. Each year we'll pick a theme and the students will pick a look based on the inspiration from those themes. This year is earth, metal, wood, fire, and water, okay? Um, for those of you that do not know, we actually have a location in Addison, Illinois. So our cosmetology program is housed there. We offer a cosmetology certificate. We also offer nail technology. And with 18 additional credits, you can earn your cosmetology degree. Sounds good? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now since I am not the MC <laughs> of the day, this is not my forte. I am going to introduce you to Mo, Mo, Mo. <laughs> Come on up. How's everyone doing tonight? Great. Great. We need some more energy. Come on, let's get yeah. the energy up. Yeah. Let's give another round of applause for Miss Mia. Yeah. So when Miss Mia initially came to me about this idea, I was like, oh, this is great. Like, let's get this started. And she was like, yeah, I need you to help with like the coordination. I was like, oh, I've never done a hair show before, but I'm gonna make it work. So all through this hard work, a lot of running around in the back and organizing everything, these students have put a lot of hard work and time and energy into this. So that's why I need everybody's energy to be up high level so we can give them the support that they actually need for this. So I'd like to start off by introducing our judges for the night. So we have Sue Petrovich from Great Clips. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. How are you doing today, Sue? I'm, I'm thrilled to be here at this first Elements event. Um, we got a little early peek on stuff, and it's an amazing, it's going to be an amazing event. It's big. Let's give her another round of applause. Then next we have Kelly Montgomery from Kale's Cuts. How are you? I am wonderful, thank you for having me. Looking forward to this competition. Thank you. And then next we have Natalie Hicks from Avalon Industries. Hi. Thank you, I'm also excited to be here. They've done a work, they've worked really hard, so we're looking forward to it. And I'm part of the host, but we have a student host who is next in line to do the show next year, correct? So let's give it up for Giselle Carrera. How's everybody doing tonight? Or this afternoon, sorry. <laughs> All right, we have, I'm, I'm so glad to be here. My name is Giselle Correa. I am a first year student in our cosmetology um, program and I, I, you guys are in for a solid treat. So today we will be having three categories. Our first, um, actually, sorry about that. Um, our three categories will be cut in color, updo and avant-garde. And without further ado, cut in color. <laughs> Our 
our first contestant will be the team of Grace and Tegan. And what is your element? Our element, we decided to do water. She is a total rocker chick. So I decided to do a kind of cool blue on the roots. We did a very dark, like navy blue type thing for the dark, like deep ocean. And then the rest is like an aqua blue and we mixed it a little bit with the sky blue. Tell us about the cut involved in this. Um, so I did the cut. You want to come here? Um, I just did, you want to spin? Um, I just did a blunt cut and then I put some layers, long layers, and that just showed kind of like the waves of the water to have the layers in there. Yeah, they're the long layers. Very nice. Great job, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. That was beautiful, edgy, and colorful. Next up, we have the team of Janelle and Caressa. Hello ladies, tell us what's your element. So we went with water. Um, we thought that there was a lot of really cool things that you could do with water, just all the different kind of colors. Um, and then for the cut, we kind of wanted to go with like a wave. Kind of we have that going with the, like some waves in there as well. So how would you describe her haircut? Her haircut, Caressa did that. It's more of an asymmetric bob. She was already kind of short on the left side, so I just trimmed it a little bit more to show the undercut, gave her like two wave designs in it, it's water, and yeah. Very Curled nice. it on the side. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you. ladies. So pretty, I can't. Um, right now we have next up, it will be Carla. your element? My element is metal. I decided to do white gold since gold is classic and it never goes out of style. She came to me saying that she wanted to look younger so I gave her a uh, bob haircut so it's shorter on the back, longer on the sides and everything complements her outfit, her hair, everything is gold. What technique did you use to color her hair? I did a balayage technique very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing so far? Next up will be Nakia. I apologize about that. Next up is Kaylina. Uh, my element is earth, specifically sand, okay. and I chose sand because my family keeps me grounded, and um, especially my son. <laughs> and could you describe the technique for your son's haircut? Um, on both sides, I did a medium fade, and then um, I left hair in the back, so it's more like a mohawk afro. And then he has three line designs on his on the side. Um, for his color, he, I used 20 volume to lighten his hair subtly, and then I added gold so it has a brighter appearance. Very nice. It's very nice. What color did you use for your mother? For my mom, it's a variation between level five and level six red violet, and I added a little bit of gold as well for her to blend into the theme. 
beautiful job. Thank yes, you. Yes, it's lovely. Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. Next up, Miss Nakia. So tell us about your element, Nakia. So I decided to choose the element of water. Uh, we were inspired by the undersea water animal mer mermaids, and that's where we have the purple color melted down into our blue. Um, I decided to give her beach waves to um, incorporate the ocean of the water inside of um, her curls. We used a Pravana um, to strip her actual color that she had before. She had a red color, and we stripped it out and we put in her, her new Pope Riot's purple and blue. It's very nice. Thanks. What type of haircut does she have? She has an asymmetrical haircut. Because of her beach waves, it kind of levels out a little bit. But one side is a little longer than her other side. <laughs> very nice, very yeah. nice. It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All of our models look stunning today. Let's take a final look. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this experience. Tonight, we will venture into a larger than life saga. Transform your state of mind. We will explore the spiritual abyss. What y'all think? They look pretty good. All right, next up is our second category, which will be updo. category will be the team of Sarah and Colleen. So tell us about your element. So we picked Earth and we picked Earth because um, Colleen actually found a picture and it was this gorgeous curly updo where kind of how my model Anna has her hair styled. It was curly, just swooped back. And I loved the way it looked because the model had butterflies in her hair and I'm like, ooh, that's a perfect representation of Earth. Just the peacefulness and I wanted to use a lot of hair pieces to kind of manipulate the hair and show the aspects of what I envisioned Earth to be. Tell us about the green in her hair, the color. We have braid and extensions. We just added a few to give it a little bit of accent to, um, to bring out the earth tones, so, yeah. Okay, that's And you achieved this book by what exactly? Uh, we did a ponytail method. So it's like a small little ponytail. Mm -hmm. And in the back, it's just wrapped around because we did cur barrel curls and pinned them. So it's just wrapped around. And and intermeshed with the flowers. Very nice. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Next up will be Miriam. What's your element for this one? So my element is the uh, nature. Okay. Um, Earth. She's the mother okay. of a beauty. And then what was your technique in achieving this updo? 
So actually I sectioned the front section and then I swift it to give her the elegant look. Mm -hmm. I try to mix it together with no, um, so I don't want to give it like more details. So that's why I swift the hair um, together from the side to side. Very nice, yes, it's lovely. I use the gold too on the side. Nice accent. Mm -hmm. Beautiful wedding look. Very nice. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. That was classic, beautiful, elegant. Next up, and certainly not least, Miss Urja. what your element Hi. is um my element is water and i use basket weaving technique because it flows into each other like waves did you use add-in hair or is yes, it her hair color hair. that color no i added hair okay very nice yes it's lovely any other questions oh beautiful thank you thank you yes thank you Alrighty, let's take a final look at all of our models and contestants. And now we're getting to our third category, which will be the avant-garde category. She's on fire. She's on fire. Like standing in the sun, you really feel the heat. I break a sweat just like every time we meet. That girl is blazing high. Alrighty, first up will be a team of Janelle and Bridget. Did you choose? So we chose fire. You can see it's all red and all of the red is not her natural hair. Um, we chose fire because it's very fun. It kind of acts the way it wants to act. Um, so as you can see, we kind of let the hair do the controlling, so. <laughs> is that all of her hair or did you add in hair? We added in hair. So her hair is actually about collarbone length. So majority of that is stuff that we braided in and kind of pinned in. Okay. Your technique was braiding. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. That was explosive, beautiful. What else would you like me to say? Um, next up, we have Jeanette. your element my element is metal mm -hmm. um, she has a bunch of silvers in there with some aluminum and the inspiration behind it is that um, I love cosmetology metal sticks metal is always attracting things so I'm attracted to cosmetology and makeup and hair so um, it just felt natural to pick metal and um, she has pins and bobby pins everywhere there was a picture that I saw that had nothing but bobby pins in there and um, I decided to do 
a bunch of teasing. She has about six uh, buns in there. A bunch of teasing and um, just nothing but bobby pins and color spray. There's spray in there. And how long is her hair? Her longest, um, her hair is as long as her mid back. Okay. Oh. So she has a lot of hair. A lot of hair. Yeah. Great technique. Yes. But it was able to fit, so. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank you. Just okay. beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but that is literally what edgy is. Last time I checked. So let's go to our next team, which will be Ashley and Sandra. Woo! So what was your inspiration for choosing water? <laughs> um, I chose water because I felt like it could be very creative. Um, I tried doing a powerful wave. Um, with that, I did Dutch braids and I crocheted in braided hair, uh, two different ombre blues. And I, I achieved that. <laughs> very nice. So what would you call your look? Um, I'd say a powerful wave. <laughs> uh, a powerful wave. A powerful okay. wave, yeah. All right. And you tell us what you did? Yeah, so I was kind of the assistant for Ashley. She had all the idea, and I was kind of like helping her from like the beginning, like putting in the hair, uh, teasing it, spraying the hair until like to get the final look. And it came out really nice. We're proud of it. Yes. Great job, ladies. Yeah, Thank, job. You. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a whole wave in the front of her hair. All right, next up will be Miss Cassandra. So tell us what was your inspiration for fire? Our inspiration for fire was it's very bold and powerful, which is how I feel that most things are in life. I feel like fire is just the most exotic and fun element to choose from. So for her hair, if you could set forward for me, please. I did feet and braids. So this is uh, braid extensions. And then the back, I left kind of loose because fire, it just builds on itself. It's not... Uh, just its own thing. It's like connected with everything. And then for the yarn at the top, I connected all three braids because fire is very connected and it's not by itself. You see it building and building. So it's, it has its own foundation. And I actually uh, also incorporated the makeup in with it. So her makeup, you can see this side of her face is supposed to look like it's burnt. So it's supposed to look like she was burnt by the flames. And then the gold leafing is supposed to show the ashes. And then this would be the start of the fire. Very nice. Thank Very you. well thought through. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wasn't that wild? All right, let's go on to our next contestant, which will be Carla. What was your inspiration, Carla? My inspiration was, since it was the Chinese elements, I went with the Chinese culture. So I got a kimono. And also the samurai, that's why I did a braid with the lights. And since samurais use swords, they have metal on their swords and on their garment and everything. So that was my inspiration. And tell us about the piece at the top. Uh, I braided her hair from here, and then from here um, I took it up with a wire, okay. and then I incorporated the lights. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 
these looks have been so creative. Next up, we're gonna have Miss Erica. Tell us your element. My element is fire. I chose fire because her hair was already natural red and I didn't want to put uh, fake hair or anything into it when she already had red hair. I wanted to work with what she already had and keep it natural. Um, everything she has in, in there is her natural hair. It's just a lot of teasing and curling and um, bobby pinning. So, and what I, my inspi inspiration was um, I saw a picture of a flame going up, and I attempted it, but it didn't work. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up just making it flame out to the side and working with what I had after that failure. <laughs> what a way to keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Our next contestant is Miss Madison. So tell us about your element, Madison. So I chose fire because fire is bold, creative, and kind of dramatic. So, and I'm also a Leo, which is a fire sign. So obviously I had to choose fire. <laughs> and your inspiration for you? My inspiration, that? okay. So I saw a picture with like big curly hair, but Ava has short black hair. So I had to make a wig. Um, so I took weft hair and kind of like glued it on to a cap to make a wig. And then um, the curls weren't really holding well since it is wefted hair. So then I just decided to use a teasing and backcombing to make like a little flame on top. And then I added some glitter to just make it shine. And yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's it's lovely. lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, next up is gonna be Miss Nakaya. So what is your element? My element is wood and fire, because wood beats fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the technique you, that you used on your wood model? On my wood model, I have feed in braids, feed in cornrows on her hair with a little touch of uh, wooden beads. I also kind of accentuated the look with some glasses that are that was made out of braiding hair. You made those glasses as yes. well? Yes. Okay. Very nice. And tell us about fire. Fire is feed in cornrows as well with crochet in the back with a Dutch braid at the top and feathers to accentuate the look. Very she nice. also has beaded suspenders. <gasps> uh, braided suspenders. Braided suspenders. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All Thank together. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know the suspenders were braided till she mentioned it. I, that's crazy to me. <laughs> Next up, it will be Miss Caitlin. what your inspiration for water was, Caitlin. So, yes, I did do water, and my inspiration was to make her look like a siren, which in Greek mythology is a dangerous sea creature, which allures men. So we added some cool, deep colors and some fun accessories, and it came out really good. I'm really happy. Beautiful. And the technique of braiding that you work with? So we had weaves that we, we first made a bun, and then we just added it on top. We just added a lot of braids and accessories. Great. 
Yeah, very, very nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Alrighty, and to finish up our avant-garde category, Miss Miriam. So, Miriam, what was your inspiration for choosing your My element? My inspiration was the earth. She's the mother of nature. Mother of nature. And so tell us what type of work you did to achieve this style. So I used the braided hair to create the volume. And um, as a cushion, I used the head. So it took me a long time just to create the volume that can, um, stays on. And I also used a uh, braided hair just to put it on the here on the front, mm -hmm. and then I paint her body. You did her makeup? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. All righty, and let's take a final look at all our models and contestants. much as I loved my job this afternoon, I'm gonna have to pass it over to Mo. Woo! Great job, you've been doing a great job. Let's give her another round of applause. Let's give the judges a round of applause. So we're going to take a short intermission for the judges to start to tally up those scores. And then we, when we come back, we'll have Tom Brady come up and give the actual winners for the contest. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't even want to get in the way of all of this, but 
You have everybody, let's give everyone a round of applause. And then I will have Tom Brady, our associate dean, come up. And Tom and I, we're matching with our elements. I have fire on my feet. He has fire in his hair. Make sure you get a close up on this. Thank you, Mo. Let me come on up here if I can. Just get me up here first, quick, real quick. Thank you very much. Oh, you know, I'm so proud of the, uh, so all the students and the, the work that they put into this and the creativity. I think we should really give them another round of applause. They're fantastic. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Awesome. You should be very proud of yourselves. Um, yes. Obviously, this is, uh, I, uh, I want to point out that my hair is water with some like white foamy bubbles, <laughs> things going on around it. I want to I make sure I was participating. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I have the, the, the great opportunity to uh, name the winners. And uh, I told the judges, I said, boy, I sure didn't want to be in your position of trying to make decisions because it would be very, very difficult to choose winners when everybody has put yes. this much work in yeah. yeah. but it is, But it is a competition. We, uh, we build it as that. And it's the first time we're doing this. So we hope to be able to do this every year and get bigger and better and just really get the COD cosmetology program out there to the world. That's really what, we're, what, we're, what we want to do. And I think this is a great start. So thank you all for everything you've done. So I'm going to put on my glasses. Like Clark Kent, I know, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, and so we want to first start off with recognizing um, some of the support uh, people that helped um, put some of this together, and they're the ones who did makeup. And we want to, I want to bring them up and, and recognize them as well. So uh, first, we have uh, Paula. Paula, come on up. Thank you, Paula. Good job. Nice. You did a great job. Next, we have Adam Aris. Adam Aris. did a great job. Congratulations. You're welcome. And then we have um, Molly. Molly? Yeah. Congratulations, Molly. Great job. And then we have Miriam. Miriam? Great job. Thank you. Fantastic job. So now I get the opportunity to, uh, to announce the winners. It's a big moment. It's all silent in here. Everyone's on the edge of their seat, kind of, right? Absolutely. I certainly am. I'm almost on the edge of the stage. So we're going to start out with, uh, with cut and color. And um, the, uh, the, the judges have given me the, uh, the top three winners. So we have a first, second, and third place. And of course, we're going to start off with the third place. And again, very difficult because, I mean, everybody, everybody could be a winner for sure. But we're going to start off with, with uh, third place. Third place in cut and color goes to Nakia. <laughs> Nakia? <laughs> Nakia, come on up here for a second. I want to I I ask you a couple things because this is really exciting. So what year are you in the program? Uh, this is my second year. I'm a senior in the program. That's awesome. And what are your what are your goals? What are you what are you gonna do moving forward? My ultimate goal is to own my own business. I wanna open up my own natural hair bar. Okay. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, congratulations and we wish you the best of luck in the future. And thank you for being part of the program. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Kia. In second place in cut and color goes to Kaylina. Coming from way back. 
Great job. Congratulations. And let, let me ask you as well, what is, what is, where are you in the program? I'm a senior as well. Senior, congratulations. And what are your plans for the future? Um, continue to learn more, continue to grow as a person as far as um, with hair, natural hair, braiding, and continue to expand my brand. That's fantastic. And do you see uh, cosmetology as a, as a career choice for you? Yes. I actually quit accounting to start with cosmetology. Wow. Nice. <laughs> one, one less accountant in the world. Yeah. <laughs> one more cosmetologist. That's yeah. huge. Congratulations. Congrats. So much more exactly. fun. <laughs> okay. And in the cut and color category, the first place winner is Janelle Lyons. Okay. You know? Okay, there's two? Yeah. Okay. Can I get, here you go. Thank you very much. All right. All right. <laughs> Stay up here is now your model. Is your model. Hey, come on up here and uh, let me talk to you guys for a little bit. What uh, year are you in the program? Um, I'm a freshman. We're all freshmen. Oh, fantastic. And so, what, isn't that great? Yeah. Freshmen. That means they'll be back next year. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Better watch out. First place here. And um, what is your, do you have a role model in cosmetology that you've, you've has inspired you? Um. Well, I kind of look up to all my teachers. They're all very inspiring people and definitely help me with everything. Yeah. That's fantastic. Congratulations. And let me go on this side. So, freshman, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, what was this experience like for you going through this, this competition? Um, it was interesting. It was fun. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are very creative again I gotta say uh, the whole group here is so creative it's just amazing when I see the things that you're able to do so be very proud of yourself congratulations first place winners in cut and color everyone yeah. Good job. okay now we're going to up to up to so the third place winner in up to is Miriam Miriam? Thank you. Miriam, congratulations. You got, you got two awards there, yeah. which is awesome. What is your um, inspiration in cosmetology? So my inspiration is everything, actually. I have very patience for Abdus and everything. Um, but like my, my specific patient is like for Abdus and makeup. So. And you got awards for both of those yeah. today, which is yeah. which is fantastic. And and what year are you in the program? So um, this is the last year. Oh, so, so you're a senior. Yeah. So you're leaving us. Yeah. But you're going on. You're going to go on to great things. Do you have any Do you have any career goals that you're you're looking to to achieve? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna get more experience, and then I'm trying to open my own salon. That's fantastic. Let's hear it for Miriam. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay. The second place winners in up to are Sarah and Colleen. Here you go. Congratulations. Now, which one's Sarah? Which one's Colleen? Okay, Sarah, Colleen. Okay, it's good, good for me to know that. Okay, bring your model up for sure. So tell me a little bit about uh, you in the program. What year are you in the program? So I'm currently a senior. Um, and once I'm done with cosmetology school, I would like to get a business degree, uh, open up my own shop, uh, maybe open up a little travel, you know, business, and just kind of get a lot of experience and enjoy this career. That's fantastic. Well, c congratulations. You're, you're well on your way for sure. <laughs> yeah. And tell me a little bit about yourself in terms of where are you in the program? I am a senior as well. I'm really interested in men's cuts, but I'm kind of torn. You're interested in what? Men's cuts. Men's cuts, yeah, I say I need a haircut. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, I hear you, I'm, I'm with you there, but um, congratulations. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great honor for you to be number one part of our program and number two uh, to be winners in, in terms of the second place in the up to category. So thank you very much for participating. Thank you. 
Now the first place winner in up to goes to Urja. <laughs> and can we get your model? Oh, there, right there. Right on cue. Congratulations, Urja. That's a that's congratulations. First place up to. And tell me a little bit about you and the program. Uh, where are you in the program? I'm a senior, and I'm, all, I'm about to graduate. And yeah. Yeah, that's great. Graduation. That's <laughs> that's that's everyone's goal to get the graduation <laughs> for sure. And we're 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 thrilled to have you part of the program and, and having you as part of the program. Thank you so much. And what are your aspirations and, and goals? Uh, I want to open my own salon eventually, but I want to work in different places, part of the different world. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you have you have great goals in front of you, and, and this is an achievement, and obviously graduating is an achievement, so thank you for being part of our program. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's great to see people finishing our program and, and, and going out and chasing their dreams. And, and really, that's, that's what this is all about. And I know our judges can, can attest to that as well from all the achievements that, that you've had. So now we're going to go to avant-garde. Avant-garde. <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's a great category. It's, it's a fun category. All of them are. But avant-garde is so creative. And it was so enjoyable to see the contestants. So let's start with the third place winner in avant-garde. And that would be Jeanette. Jeanette. Hi. Where's your model? My model actually went to the hospital. She had an allergic reaction. What? Oh, oh ouch. No. Oh, boy. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, dear. Tell me if it beats. Oh. Well, I hope she's okay. Yes. We all hope she's okay. Congratulations. So tell me a little bit about where you are in the program. Um, I'm a senior right now and I have one year left. Um, I am leaning more towards makeup and updos, so it's more towards what I wanna do. Well, that, that's fantastic. You know, you, you're certainly off to a great start, and we appreciate you being part of our program and participating in this, because it's never easy to get up on stage and show things you've done, but you got, you've made a, a great representation of yourself, so congratulations. congratulations. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, our second place winner in avant-garde is Ashley and Sandra. <laughs> Ashley and Sandra. There you go. Thank you. Okay, now you are a senior. And what are your what are your goals? What are you looking to to do? First of all, for sure, get more experience in this industry, become a better cosmetologist, and in the future, I would like to open a spa salon. Fantastic. That would be, that would be a great achievement, for sure. Thank you. And yourself? Yeah, I'm a senior, too, and um, I will also... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will also like to get more experience into, in the industry and eventually open a salon, too, as well. Good. Well, it's great. It's great to hear that you guys are excited about, you know, doing something on your own, opening up business. That that's just great, and I, I wish you all the the best and all the luck. And thank you so much for being part of our program. Congratulations. Okay, and the uh, the last award of our, of the evening is a first place in avant garde, and first place in avant garde is Nakaya. Pearson. Oh my gosh. Good job. Good job, you guys. I love I, I love those glasses. Those are my favorite. Those are so great. Nakaya, congratulations. Thank you so much. So tell me a little bit about where you are in the program. I am a first year cosmetology student. Mm -hmm. And what do you like the most about the program at this point? Uh Everything. <laughs> um, if I wasn't going to learn about hair, I would just learn how to do my own hair. <laughs> so it's just so much information, and it's good information. And Nakaya, what are your what are your goals for the future? What are you What are you looking to achieve? I am looking to open my own kids' hair salon. Oh, that's fantastic! Love good for you. Kids. Oh yeah, absolutely. And girls, you guys are awesome. Thank you for participating. You guys look great. 
We really do. Thank you. Congratulations. So let's hear it one more time for all our contestants, because they're, they're all winners. Congratulations, everyone. Thanks again for participating. We're going to do it again next year, um, for sure. So think about what you want to do next year already. You know, get ahead of the curve, you know. Um, I also want to uh, thank our judges. Um, thank you, ladies. These ladies are part of our advisory council for our cosmetology program. And I can tell you because we, there's many advisory councils around the college, all the programs have them. And to me, they are the backbone of our programs because these are people who are in the business and have achieved significant things within the business. And it's great that they come back and they help us to make our program to be as good as it can be. And I think the cosmetology program here at COD is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. A lot of that credit goes to, to you ladies. So thank you so much for Thank you. Thank you. And I also want to say a thank you before I bring her up to, to, to Mia Boyd and the other faculty that have taken time, to, so much of their time, to work with these students and get them ready for the future and get them ready for obviously today. I mean, they've spent a lot of time on it and they're very, very dedicated. And I'm very fortunate that I get to work with a group like them because I've really enjoyed getting to know them and they're really committed to cosmetology and, 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 and achieving first and foremost student success because that's why this program exists. So I want to thank all the faculty, and of course, I want to thank Mia Boyd for all your dedication and hard work on this. Let's hear it for you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. I need a moment to tell my family here. Wow. wow. <laughs> I am so proud of you. OK, a bit later, we'll get to that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate all of the contestants. Yes. All of your hard work is duly noted, and it has been seen and shared. It has been seen and shared, and we really appreciate and love the work that you put into it, okay? So give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and before I close anything out, I must say thank you to a few people. Um, first, I need to thank the cosmetology team. Um, that includes all of the contestants, the support, the makeup artists. It also includes um, the students that help at the door, backstage. It includes all of our instructors, those that are here, those that are not. It includes our admin, uh, administrative assistant who's here, Tina. Um, it includes just our whole team, okay? With that, I want to say thank you to the dean, but he's a part of my other thank you list, <laughs> okay? I want to thank the host that we have. I want to thank Mo, our MC for the night. Can we give him? Yeah. Awesome job. Cool, calm spirit, good energy. Um, I want to thank Giselle. Where's Giselle? Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You better not leave us for Comedy Central, okay? I know. <laughs> and I would also like to thank the guy that had the hardest job, right? He had the best job to announce all the winners, Tom Brady. And while I know the dean has thanked our judges, I personally must thank you all as well, okay? So I love you dearly. 
I appreciate the resources, the information, the support, the kindness, the education, the feedback. Whenever I call, you say when. Whenever I say I need, you say how much. So I love you dearly for that, for our program. Our students are crazy about you. So thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sue. Now, let's be real. I got to thank everybody behind the scenes. Yes. <laughs> OK? Now, we're not going to call. <laughs> they already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> so I want to thank the multimedia team, the entire team, because they work with us to no end. I must give a special thanks to Jim. Jim, you got to show yourself. And Kevin, I don't know where Kevin went, but we got to thank Kevin. They are the ones that did the video that you see on the screen, the music that you have going on, the intermission, all of that. Um, I want to thank conference and events. We have Joe, Eric, and Danny. They're the ones. Go ahead and clap for them, please. They're the ones that help to create this space, the lighting, uh, working with us in our time frame. Me being new to this, they were very, very helpful, OK? I want to even thank marketing, who's not here, Jeff and Kim. And last but definitely not least, I want to thank you, the audience, for taking time out of your day to spend time with us to celebrate with our students. Give yourselves a round of applause. And with that being said, that concludes our show. Thank you.